Welcome to Kate Time Story Time, where we're preparing for an intergalactic visitor. You know what? Pluto is a real planet, and I don't care what they say. What is happening with Green Bear right now? Now, you know, it's just not right. It's not right. It's because he's a small planet that he should suddenly be demoted. That's just wrong. So, what happened, storyteller? Yes, Red Bear, a little information would be great. Well, yeah, he found out in Science Class that, 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 well, that Pluto is no longer an official planet. <laughs> and he took it really hard. Yeah, you know, just because you're small does not mean that you can't be mighty and everything. And Green Bear. What? Listen, this is not that you're somehow less of a bear because you're the tiny bear. <laughs> it's, it's not. No. Just just because you're small does not mean that you're not mighty and brave and strong and strong. So don't worry about Pluto. It's just a science thing. It's not a bear thing. Oh, oh I feel a lot better now. I love you, Storyteller. I love you too, Green Bear. Let's go. Pluto visits Earth. And I wonder what Pluto has to say and why he's coming all the way over here to see us. I mean, that's pretty special. It was a quiet day in the universe when Pluto got the news. Hey, Pluto, shouted Speedy the Space Rock, who was racing by with his friends. You're not a planet anymore. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Pluto asked, shocked. What do you mean I'm not a planet? It's like somebody saying to you, you're not a person. What? Astronomers on Earth say you're a dwarf planet and not a real planet. A, a dwarf planet? Wait a minute, tell me more. That's the way the comet crumbles. And Speedy was gone. Wait, is that Frosty the snowman flying through space? Hmm. You never know what's floating out there. Pluto turned purple with rage. Oh man, that's deep rage. How can this be? I'm madder than a Martian. Pluto called out to his three moons. Do I look small? Not to me, big guy, Nick said. Well, you're twice as big as I am, Sharon said. Well, at least he's got supportive moons. Are these, are these cats and fish and worms? Man, space is where it's happening right now. Pluto thought back, I remember when I was named by Venetia Burney, that nice English girl. The new planet should be called Pluto. That's a Roman god. A Roman god? Wow! But now this, he yelled, a dwarf planet. <laughs> I'll go visit Earth and demand to be a real planet again. Oh, he's got business with us. And with a mighty thrust, Pluto left his orbit and zoomed towards Earth. He asked other planets to help him out along the way. He saw Neptune in this distance. Halt! Who goes there? Neptune shouted. Friend or UFO? I it's me, Pluto! Oh, hi, little buddy. Hey, I heard the big news. That's too bad. What brings you here? Well, I'm on my way to Earth. I, I want to be a regular planet again. Will you join me? Sorry, Pluto. I'd love to, but I've got 13 moons to look after. I'm just too busy. Oof. 13 moons will keep your planet hands full. Oh, well. See you later, Neptune. The other planets were no help either. Ah, Uranus was too scared. I might get hit by a meteor shower. Who knew he was such a nervous wreck? Saturn was too vain. Did you ever see such beautiful rings? And Jupiter was too bossy. Get out of my way, small fry. Oh, rude. I don't want his help anyway. Mars, well, Mars was too distracted. <laughs> Not today, it's Mars Day. The Martians are celebrating. Pluto didn't even bother visiting Venus or Mercury. They were way too out of his way anyway. So, the times, small is the new big, fabulous food. Pluto is coming. Me, Pluto suffers identity crisis. The Daily Blab, Pluto is mad, arriving in two days. Oh, everybody knows. Okay, well, news travels fast. Pluto put on the brakes at the Mount Baldy Observatory and hovered above the two shocked astronomers. Two of them stepped forward. 
Why did you make me a dwarf planet? Pluto thundered. The astronomers trembled. I mean, it's still pretty big for a small dwarf planet. Uh, <coughs> uh, first of all, uh, Mr. Pluto, Astronomer A said in a shaky voice, you are, you are small, much smaller than the other eight planets. So what? I still got a big heart. Um, <coughs> um, planets should be larger than their moons, Astronomer B added, and you're not. I don't care. I like being one of the nine planets in the solar system. Now, nobody will know who I am. Excuse me, a boy shouted. Hey, there's a boy here. I have something to say. The astronomers stepped back, probably relieved that the Pluto was being distracted by the kid. Uh, Pluto, you will always be my favorite, the child said. Whoa, 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 whoa. Other kids are like, what? This is the craziest field trip ever. I, I, I will, Pluto said. Small or big, it doesn't matter, the child said. You're the best. <gasps> Pluto spun around. Well, what do you think of that? I'm special. He looked toward the sun. Well, I better get going. It's so hot in here, I'm starting to melt. Well, there's a lot of ice, so yeah, he should probably get a move on. As Pluto zoomed away, shh, he shouted, Goodbye, Earth! See you around the Milky Way! And off he went, past the rocket ship, and the guy with the flying backpack, and the floating Frosty, and the alien life form, what? And the flying turtle fish, and the comet, and the hot air balloon that got a lot of hot air. And a flying dino, huh? Didn't know that. Oh wait, and also, who did we just see here? Superman! Well, of course he's out there. Ah, so it was a happy ending. He's okay, but wait, there's some really cool things in here. So Pluto was discovered at that Lowell Observatory that you saw in the book in Flagstaff, Arizona. If you haven't been there, oh, it's beautiful there. Red rocks, only an hour away from the Grand Canyon. We should go sometime. And let's see, um, Pluto has three moons, Sharon, Nix, and Hydra, probably gonna be celebrity names one day soon. And it is one third the size of Earth's moon, of our moon. So it's pretty tiny and only twice as large as its own moon, Sharon. And look at that, see here, see here, look at it. There's the sun, there's Mercury, there's us, there's Jupiter, there's Saturn, who's so vain. And oh, over here, this tiny little rock over here. Dad, do I look small with all the space around me? Pluto, you look perfectly fine, just as you are. Isn't that right, Green Bear? Yeah, yeah, he's still special, even though he's a dwarf planet, but that's okay because he's still part of our universe, and he's important, and he's still people's favorite, and that's all that matters. I feel like you took this whole Pluto thing really personally. I don't know why, but I think I did. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, where we love you, big or small. Ooh.